Hey beloveds, thank you for tuning into Beanie TV. This is your girl Beanie. Welcome to my channel where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So you guys know I just came back from London a few days ago. I'm still <coughs> jet lagged. <coughs> I'm choking. All that. I'm wearing bunny ears from my cousin's son's first birthday. It was a Mickey Mouse theme. It was such a fun party. First of all, there's a game called Musical Statues. I've never played it. It's like you play music, everyone's dancing, and then when the music stops, you have to freeze. And I usually am very good at freezing and slow motion dancing and all of that. And I lost. And there was a 50 pound Zara card on the line. I lost. I blame it on my cousin Eugenia. So I'm just gonna um, wear these Mickey Mouse ears until I don't want to anymore but um, yeah so let's see what I got in London and again remember guys I did not go to London for the purpose of shopping but it just happened because you know the grace of God just be on you and then you just like your auntie give you money and you be like okay auntie I'm gonna go shopping all right let's get started on my London shopping haul First things first is underwear, okay? If I'm going to London, I'm buying underwear because the underwear is just so cheap. Even though the even though Americans spend more money when they go to London, it's still really, really cheap. So I got these boxers for my friend Kofi. I wonder if this is embarrassing for him. I don't know. But I got these boxers from Marks and Spencer, which is kind of like a macy's but kind of a lord and taylor um my mom said that like back in the 70s and 80s or 60s 70s 80s, 60s i don't know if you excuse me if you were wearing marks and spencer that meant that you were rich and then you had money honey but now i think it's more of a lord and taylor so i got these um they were these were kind of expensive actually these were 18 pounds which was like not $36 but maybe $24 so but these were a gift so they kind of had to be pricey right now for myself I got these bras for it was two for two for two pounds which is three dollars basically I got two bras for three dollars now I know it's like cheaper is not always better but you know what I literally have no bras so and and I was like okay what do I really really need bras and then I got this cute like little sleeping oh my boobs little sleeping like nightgown and this was five pounds which was about seven dollars and it's cute and the thing is like the underwear and bras might be cheap but if you take care of them they wash very well so I don't know about you guys and i'm sorry for any gentlemen that are watching this but i needed new period panties and i know i'm not the only one that has period panties so these are my new period panties and these were one pound meaning they were like a dollar fifty about dollar fifty and then i got a pack of these amazing seamless um panties and um victoria's secret sells these and i love these i love the material i love how simple they are they have like no lining basically i got it in a tan color a magenta and then a tan and white uh, patterned material and I think these were three pounds meaning they were about five bucks and one of these at Victoria's Secret is five dollars so you guys understand oh I'm sorry I got all of this stuff at Primark there is nothing in America like Primark Primark sells underwear for one pound okay they sell um beauty products they sell oh my god what else they sell beauty products they sell things for your house things for your bedroom they sell underwear clothes and it was like we went to the one in oxford circus which is like three floors it is huge i guess it would be compared to a forever 21 but it's not as stylish in my eyes but it's just so good so cheap cheap but it's like semi quality and they have bio oil there and the woman was like this is the cheapest place you can get bio oil which was I think it was seven pounds which is about ten dollars but I know bio oil goes for twenty thirty dollars here in America now my mom and Brianna like they love bio oil I've seen it I haven't really like I didn't you know I wasn't like 
oh I need to try this here in America because it's so expensive but because it was so cheap in London I got some so I'll definitely be doing a review you guys know I was born ashy my skin be dry and I really do hope that this works out and what else did I get I got Oh yes, and then I got some more seamless panties, just all black, you know, black, brat, brat, what it do in the loo. These black panties, you can never go wrong with seamless black panties that were like five bucks, five dollars, yes. So that is everything that I got from Primark. I kept the bag, y'all. So we went to Selfridges, which is like a Barney's. So it was beautiful, bright, um, it was, it was awesome and and amazing and you know i got the samples you know, if you're messing with me like understand wherever we go i will be asking for samples so don't be embarrassed be grateful that i got your ass something for free so we had to check out brown and i had to check out charlotte tilbury we see all of these like british um beauty vloggers always wearing her products they don't sell it here in the states so i actually forgot my debit card and brianna paid for this for me so thank you brianna so we were in there and um the first person that helped us wasn't that nice but the second girl who helped us was really nice now i love charlotte tilbury's packaging y'all see this and i got this really pretty um clear but uh shimmery gloss called Ibiza Nights, Ibiza Nights. I still can't remember how to pronounce that, please. But um, yeah, I'm excited about this and uh, I love the packaging. And unfortunately, her foundations don't go as deep as I would like them to go. But I was still really, really happy with my lip gloss. I don't really wear lip gloss a lot, so I'm excited to like just simplify my makeup more. And of course, I got a sample from diptyque if you guys have never heard of diptyque i suggest you go to your local barneys i think they sell it at nordstrom um they sell it at higher end department stores or you know you might live where there's a standalone one they have the highest quality candles and perfumes that i've ever smelled in my life and my best friend joe he loves diptyque uh so i suggest you guys what is this this is a satin oil for body and Hair. I have not opened it because I saved it guys. I saved it for you. And then from Charlotte Tilbury We got a magic eye rescue Cream people are always giving out under eye cream and I don't need that but it was free So I'm gonna receive it. And I'm gonna accept it and then um, I'm so excited to try this I'm gonna try this tonight and Diptyque is very pricey, but it is worth It is a Parisian brand and it is high quality and is worth the money I'm not buying it yet, but when I do, I will let you guys know. And um, whenever I am just like, I cannot spend $100 on some good perfume, I always head to Zara. And uh, the Zara that we went to in Oxford Circus had the Freesia and Vanilla. I don't know what Freesia is, but it basically smells like Miss Dior Sherry. And it's like a, a dupe of that. And I, I really like um see oh yes miss sheree dior without the dior money without the dior coins i love zara perfume it does not last long but it just it smells good it's dupes of higher end perfumes and i don't know how much i paid for this i think this might have been 10 bucks or maybe 12 or 13 bucks but um I'm really really happy with this and I don't know if we have this in the States I don't know yet but um, I'm really really happy with this and it's so pretty so pretty of course when you go to London you gotta get cookies so um, because my mom lived in London and it is very common for people from Nigeria or Ghana to go to London and then come to the States or to stay in London so a lot of things that I was raised, I was raised on a lot of things that are English, like um, eating Weetabix for breakfast, eating digestive cookies, using um, uh, deodorant from London, eating British breakfast. So if you go to London, be sure to have some digestive biscuits, cookies, biscuits, whatever, and bring me some. These are so good. I can literally eat the whole pack in one sitting. So before... 
So before I got on my flight back to Los Angeles, I went into Zara because I had time to kill and I was not going to buy clothes at all because it's just too expensive. But then I saw this leather jacket which I had seen here in LA a few weeks ago and it literally was only $50 but it was $60 in America. It was 33 pounds but $50 because it was in the airport meaning you don't have to pay tax and it was like on semi sale. So. Um, I'm really, really excited about it. It is a great, like, lightweight, lightweight leather jacket for summer LA nights, which can sometimes be a little chilly. I love the detailing. Like, can you guys see these bracelet cut sleeves? Like, perfect. Look at this. Did you guys see my workout pants? I'm literally wearing workout pants doing these videos. But look at this. Like, so cute, right? And I have another leather jacket from Zara. And honestly, if you want, like, a good, well-done, not-fake-looking leather jacket, just go to Zara. You know, just go to Zara, put your coins down, and get your money's worth. And, of course, we have to go to Topshop, the original 90,000-square-foot Topshop in Oxford Circus, okay? It is literally right outside of Oxford Street's stop is it oxford street oxford circus stop i don't know my cousins are gonna kill me so i do not wear big earrings anymore i love a nice little dainty earring so i got this awesome pack it was 12.50 so a little bit so it's like maybe 20 dollars which you know you're getting all of these for 20 bucks and i can mix and match and i love it like i love the um the rose gold look i love the silvers I love the little bit of like shine so I'm like really really excited about this like I'm good for the rest of the year okay and my mom spotted this so thank you mom thank you mom for spotting this all right guys thank you so much for tuning into my London shopping haul um, if you have any comments requests or anything like that leave them below in the comments and I'll see you guys next video